Um, I am here in the Wendigo Forest. What was that? Okay. I've never been more confident in something stalking me than right now. Can you tell me what this is that is out here with me? What is up guys? Welcome to tonight's video. Welcome to tonight's camping video. My name is Dan. I will be your host for this evening on Cursed Urban. But before I get into the introduction of where we're at guys, if you are new here, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment letting me know that you guys are ready for tonight's camping video. I have a very special spot picked out for us tonight and I I'm really looking forward to getting in here, exploring, investigating, and seeing what we can find. Um, it is a nice, nice chilly fall evening, and uh, it's like perfect out. It's perfect out for camping. It's perfect out for hiking, investigating, you name it. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. Guys, we already, we're already, we're already hearing crazy stuff. Pack of coyotes right over there. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Kind of scary though, but kind of cool. Um, anyways, so, that out of the way. Oh, that's bright. I like how I shine the light in my eyes. I'm like, oh, that's bright. Why is it? Why is shining a light in my eyes so bright? I can't I can't believe it. But yeah, I had to get that because that was that was pretty crazy. So what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, um, we are we are back out here. We are back out here with another camping video. Um, I am here in the. Wendigo Forest, um, number two, second Wendigo Forest, um, not the first one, the second one, this one's all new, never been in here before, I've never camped here before, and, ah, oh, dude, <sighs> guys, I just realized something, and I am very pissed, so, I have recently obtained a, um, I recently obtained a death whistle. And I just realized I left it at home. It's just sitting on top of my computer. I got this thing and I was like, I was, I was excited to try it out. And, uh, yeah. I just left it at home, sitting on top of the computer. Completely forgot to grab it in my haste to charge all my batteries. Dude, I completely forgot to plug in all my all my camera batteries, my flashlight, and everything like that until like an hour and a half before I had to leave. Which, if you guys are familiar with charging like cameras and stuff, that's not enough time to charge everything. So, yeah. So everything was there. I was trying to plug in everything. I was trying to pack everything, get everything together to come out here. And yeah, in my haste, I left the death whistle there. So I am upset to say the least. Next one, next time, next time we'll try it. Um, I, I will remember it for sure. But anyways, guys, so yes, we are back in, well not back, we are at the Wendigo Forest, a new Wendigo Forest. Um, which again, as you can tell by the name, has had supposed sightings of Wendigos, has had supposed sightings of skinwalkers, um, all types of cryptids, Bigfoot, Mothman have been spotted here. 
um, tons and tons of paranormal activity. Tons and tons of things that cannot be explained. Laughs from the woods, whistles, people hearing their names called from the woods. People hearing their family members call them from the forest, even though they're sitting right next to them at a campfire. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff has happened here. So yes, I am back, or I'm, I keep saying I'm back here. I am out here getting ready to explore this. We're about to head out, we're about to hit the trail and uh, see, and that, that whole coyote ensemble definitely set the tone for tonight. So I'm excited to get out there. I'm excited to find something and uh, hopefully we stay away from rabid coyotes. All right, we are to the entrance of the woods and I did not see this uh, this path on on the map. So we're gonna go take a look down it. I don't even know if this is a path, but let's find out. I definitely just heard something walking around out here, like big, heavy steps, like a person. So there's there's somebody else hiking, or something else that can. Uh, that's that's big. I don't even know if this is a path. This doesn't look like a path, does it? Not really. Uh, this kind of looks like an overgrown like section. Like a, like the, maybe they they're making a path down here, you know? Like they just started like uh, carving out because it's definitely def definitely has some like uh, yeah. Or it was a path and this tree fell and blocked it, you know? Um, maybe that's it, because I can see, yeah, I can see through back there, it looks kind of like, it looks like it's kind of cleared, maybe not. So yeah, maybe this tree fell and it blocked the path, or maybe it's one they're just starting to like, uh, starting to like clear out and trying to make a path, but I don't know. Alright, eh, let's go a different way, I guess. Looks kind of impassable, or actually more work than, you know, I feel like doing to get past it, which is fine. I mean, I wasn't even planning to go this way. I already had kind of a route planned out. Thankfully, where I'm at has fairly decent, um, has fairly decent, uh, maps, like where to go. So, um, yeah, I, I already kind of had a route planned out. And, because a lot of the places I go, like, they straight up suck, like, <laughs> like, for real, like, they straight up suck, like, they, uh, like, their maps, um, they don't have trail maps, or if they do have trail maps, they're, like, out of date, um, or not everything's marked, or, like, half the, uh, half the forest isn't marked, or, you know, whatever, what have you, it doesn't matter, but this one, I was surprised, I mean, I could be wrong about that, and I could eat my words here and, like, you know, I could eat my words in, um, 20 minutes once we get back here, but, uh, there goes a rabbit. Cool. All right, we're not going that way, though. There's another path straight ahead. Yeah, I see you. See you, Mr. Rabbit. Thinks he's slick. Thinks he's all camouflaged. Nah. Nah, he's not. I see him. But, oh man. I'm excited to get in here. Very excited to get in here. Oh boy, all right.
Yeah, so we, we're going straight back in here. It's so quiet too, guys. It's like so quiet. I don't know why. Maybe there's like nobody here. Like, because it is, you know, it is getting cooler out. The sun's starting to set sooner. So yeah, maybe there's just like no one here aside from me. Um, but this lake's pretty big, so I'm kind of surprised that there's really not anyone here. Here. I heard something. Guess I know that. Keep thinking I hear things from over there. I told you I was hearing stuff from over there. I knew it. I think it's other people, but I'm not, I'm not completely sure. Yeah, okay. Um Yeah. Keep hearing it. Like I said, I th I'm fairly certain it's other people, but I don't know for sure. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh, we're supposed to be walking down this. This has gotten completely washed out. I, and like I've said before, the camera definitely throws like depth perception really off. It flattens everything out, but this is like a like foot and a half, two feet down. I might actually have to go back to that other trail. This one's like this all the way. Yeah, dude, I don't even think that, I really don't think this is a trail actually. But it was marked on the map as such. It's like a ditch. A ditch with a lot of trees over it. Yeah, I don't think this is a trail. I think this is like a water runoff or something. Yeah, I might go check out that other that other path instead of this one. Let's get, let's get uh, some spirit talker out though. See uh, see what's going on. So quiet tonight, guys. It's unreal. Yeah, 
Okay, I think I just heard a car door, so that must have been people I just heard. Can we check that way out? I think so. I died. I died. That's the first response. First thing we got from Spirit Talker. Huh, that really sets the tone. You see, that's one thing I have not actually heard about this forest. I haven't heard it being real, uh, like, you know, linked to that many deaths or disappearances or anything like that. But, you know, it's old. It is an old forest, so it could definitely could hold some secrets. I'm trying to make a mental note of everything. I'm trying to make like an effort to make more of a mental note of everything after I got lost. That one, that? Melissa. After I got lost that one time. Yeah, this dude. This doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Yeah, after that time I got lost, I don't know how many of you guys saw that video, in the pine forest, like straight up, I was hiking through a forest that looked just like this, like straight up, and then there's a trail that went off to one side that like led to a, like a huge grove of, uh, of pine trees, um, or evergreens. They were super tall, 7,500 feet tall. I started walking through there, as I walked, the path kept, kept getting narrower and narrower. And, uh, yeah, it didn't take long. I was, like, completely, like, backwards, like, lost. Um, it sucked. Collapse. Collapse? Yeah, it sucked. Like, I was completely backwards. And, uh, yeah, um... Then I tried to make my way out because I heard a growl in the forest. Um, so I was like, okay, I need to get out of here. And I tried going back the same way I came and I completely lost the trail. Um, and I was just lost in this. Uh, my heart gave in. My heart gave in. Um, I was just lost in this whole. Uh, this whole grove of pines or evergreens. And yeah, I mean, it wasn't huge. It's probably like, I'd guesstimate 30, 40, maybe between 30 and 50 acres. So it's not like I was like, you know, in any sort of like real danger. So yeah, eventually I just picked one direction. I just went, you know, that way and just kept going. And like, it sucked because it all like, you know, we hit some like, what do you call it? like? brush I guess and are you hearing me are you hearing me yes I'm hearing you um and I just like I hit it and there's like a wall and I just had to push through but persevered and I finally found my way out suck though suck big time <laughs> yeah it was it was it was not fun that's for sure So yeah, now I always like make sure to like, when I go off the trail, like even if it's just a short distance like that, I always make sure to like, you know, kind of take notice of, uh, of landmarks, if you will. So I can get my way back. All right, here's the other trail. Something else. Use something else. Is 
Can you tell me with who I'm speaking with? Tell me uh, anything about this forest. So that tra that that trail we just went down was, I guess, it was kind of a trail because it was on the map. I know that for sure. This one was too. So I guess we'll just go check this out. Scream. Scream. What do you mean scream? You want me to scream? What was that? That was, that was for sure a scream, but it, it definitely did not sound human. That sounded like some, like, that sounded like some, like, I love this. That sounded like, I don't know, that did not sound human, though. That sounded like, like an animal, or, and then some dogs barking now. That was weird, dude. That was really weird. That was, that was definitely not a coincidence either. That was, you know, that was a pretty quick response, you know. Vicky. Vicky. Just, so we get scream on Spirit Talker and then we hear a scream in the forest. Is that dog been barking all the whole time, or is it just did it just start? I just noticed it. I just noticed hearing that dog after we got scream, or after we heard that scream. My name is William. In a lot of names, Vicky, William, Melissa. Is there anything? Is there anything, any type of creature that lives in these, in this forest? Could you tell me? Or even if you are the creature that lives in this forest, could you let me know? I mean you no harm, I just like to know more about you. Nana. Keep hearing something scurry around over there. Right back there. That's still the same way that we heard that scream come from. Even though that didn't really sound that close. Nose ring. Nose ring? I don't have a nose ring. Can you tell me anything about yourself? About this forest? Anything? I was a child, huh? Okay.
Oh, okay. Speaking. That, that sounded like right where we just were. Like right where we just came from. That was close. Hello? Hello? Yeah, that was, that was, that was super close. Seems to be a lot of activity right in this area. We're not really getting any answers though with spirit talk. Many not, died here. Many died here. That's the second thing that it's mentioned about death here. Yeah. I died. Many died here. How did they die? Coyotes. Hear them? Hear them? Maybe you can't, I don't know. But that's what the dog's barking at. Because he barks and the coyotes respond. I miss my life. I miss my life. Yeah, it's, it's keeping in the same same tone as death. Talking about missing life. Many died here. How did you die? Crime. Crime. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. Oh, that's how he died. So they asked how you died and they said crime. That makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Now that we heard that. I was treated bad. I was treated badly by who? Who treated you bad? Watch it. Watch it. It's 
funny that it says that, because guys, what I was going to explain to you is there is literally something in, I've, I haven't mentioned it for a while now, because I wanted to see, I wanted to confirm and see if my suspicion was true, and it is definitely still acting like it. Something big is circling around me as I keep progressing through the forest. Like, I'll hear loud sounds over here, behind me, now over here, and I've noticed it since I've gotten here. Like I said, when I got out of the car, yes, I, I heard something loud, loud stomping around, like a two, like a bipedal thing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's still the same pattern. It's still the same pattern of steps. And whatever it is, it's just working its way around me in a circle here. This doesn't really look like a path that goes any further. I can see the end down there, just dead ends and doing. I want to know what that is. Outdoors. See my shadow. See my shadow. Hear it. It's the same thing. Now it's down there. It's making a weird noise. I keep hearing the exact same thing and it keep, keeps making that same noise. It's like like, like putting, I can't do it, but like, we're, like somebody puts their, their, their thumb in their cheek and like pops it out. That's the noise it's making. I hear footsteps and I hear that noise. And that's what I, that's what I have been hearing. And it's weird because it was definitely right here where we heard it. It was definitely right here. Because that path, that path we're on was right over there. And now, it's like right in the trees right up here. Like, just, just out of sight. Just out of sight, dude. It's right in there. I... Guys, I, I'm not even joking when I say this. I have never been more confident that something is stalking me than right now. I've never been more confident in something stalking me than right now. Like, 
It's just, it's just too... Where's my body? Where's my body? It's just too consistent. That's the thing. It's just, it's just way too consistent. Like... Like everything we hear, like the footsteps, you know, because they don't, they haven't stopped. And that noise, it just hasn't stopped. Like, you know, a lot of times we hear something, then there's a long break, and then we hear something else, and there's a long break. And this has just been like constantly, like I said, in a circle around me, circling around me, like once, twice. It just, it hasn't stopped. It hasn't taken a break. Doctor. There it is again. Now it's behind me. Doctor. This thing is just like, just out of sight. That wasn't it. It's to the left now. I keep hearing it to my left. That same pattern of footsteps. That same... I'm sad. Can you tell me what, what this is out here with me? Whoever, whatever I'm communicating with, can you tell me what this is that is out here with me? Because I know it's something. Do you know what it is? Can you, can you please share that with me? It's dangerous. <gasps> it's dangerous. Thank you. Oh, you other people. Whew. I just heard some other people over there. It's grandma. <laughs> it's grandma. <laughs> it's dangerous. It's grandma. Oh, oh man. It's dangerous. It's grandma. All right, I shut Spirit Talker off. <laughs> Dude, that was funny. That was like that was like perfect timing. Oh no, Dave, grandma's dangerous. Okay, okay. You know what, guys? I just I I just noticed something. I just noticed something very 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 peculiar. So. We got is dangerous. Right after that, um, I I told I pointed out to you guys. I heard somebody talking. And I heard a couple voices over there. You know, it might be somebody on an adjacent path, or um, I don't know somebody getting in their car. I don't know where the next parking lot is, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I heard voices. Since I've been here. This has now been the longest stretch of silence that I've heard in the forest. Um, yes, yeah, like, like I said, since I've been here. I, I'm not hearing those footsteps. So, those voices definitely scared it. Because it was, whatever it is, is between me and them. It's like right in the middle. So when, as soon as those, those people started talking a little bit, that's when I heard it just g go quiet, like, just cut.
it's very interesting. Maybe it's worried that it's sandwiched between two, you know, two different groups of people, whatever this thing is. But yeah, now, now it's completely quiet out here. Like those footsteps are just like that noise in the woods is like, it's not, it's not, I don't hear it. I know you guys have heard it. I hope you're listening to this with head or watching this with headphones on because you would have definitely heard that. That like this thing, this was loud. Like this is some of the like craziest um, like environment, I don't know what you'd say, environmental sounds I've ever gotten on video on one of these investigations. Like I've, I've had suspicions, like I've said, that something's been, been following me in the forest that you know, that I haven't been alone, that, you know, maybe there's, you know, a skinwalker out there, you know, a mimic, Bigfoot, what have you, um, but this is definitely the top, the, the, the top, um, like, what am I trying to say, this video is, like, at the top of, like, actually, you know, getting something more than my speculation on film because like you can hear it you can hear it the entire time it working its way around me yeah and uh, like i said i can still hear somebody talking over there and now we have not gotten anything now it's just been completely quiet since people started talking but the weird thing is is i didn't hear any running away I didn't hear any, like, any real change, like, any real sudden change. So either it can move really quietly, which I doubt because it's been making noise this entire time, or it's just kind of, uh, sheltering in place. Or it climbed a tree. That's another possibility. It climbed a tree. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. I don't want to, dude, I don't want to stop filming because it, it feels like, you know, as soon as I do, I'm going to, you know, something's going to come out or, you know, the noises are going to start again or whatever. So I don't want to stop filming, but at the same time, I want to get camp set up and kind of settle in. So I'm probably going to set up a tent tonight. I haven't, I haven't committed to that yet, but I, I am probably going to set up a tent tonight. So... What is that? There's something right in front of me now. It doesn't sound like the same type of noise though. Maybe it's that rabbit again. That stick breaking was right in front of me though. Oh, it's just gonna be like a mouse. I'm gonna jump and scream. And this is the path house down a little bit earlier, about like 15 minutes ago.
Something's not right back here. As soon as I started walking down this path, the temperature dropped noticeably. And I know I'm not imagining that. My nerves are on edge, but not that much on edge. As soon as I walk down here, it's like, and it's not, it's not that much of an elevation uh, um, difference either. Maybe a foot down. It's cold here. Real cold. I don't hear anything. These people quit talking too when I left. So, alright, I'm gonna, gonna set up around here. You're ready. Ready to do whatever. You might, I don't know, might do, do some spirit talker or just hang out. I'm hearing a lot of people now. That's probably why all those noises stopped. Yeah, I'm really hearing a ton of people now. All right, guys, let's do it. All right, guys, so we are set up, kind of, a little bit. Here we go. Um, I've got some lights. As you can see, behind me in the trees, um, that's because I have that, because as I was setting up here, I was hearing a lot of stuff behind me in the trees. Um, well, I'm going to switch this to manual focus so it doesn't keep hunting focus on us all, all night. It gets really annoying. All right, I think I'm in focus because my, my eyes are glowing. So yeah, um, so yeah, I set this up because like I said, behind me, as I was, you know, digging around my bag, Putting up, putting my camera up, and stuff like that. I, I kept hearing a lot of noises, so I decided I'll do some spirit talker, maybe necrophonic. I'm not sure, and, or both, maybe, and uh, set the light up to illuminate behind me in case something shows up. I don't know what will come out in the light, but just in case. Um, But it is it is creepy out here. I'm not even gonna lie. Even with people around, like I can hear people. Even with people around, dude, it's it's no joke. Like I said, like I told you guys, this is uh one of the times That I, I would even go out to say, like, I have no doubt that something out here is hunting me, or stalking me, or, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a very creepy feeling. And, uh, it's, it's hard to put into words unless you've been in that situation. Um, yeah. So, let's get into some spirit talker. 
and uh, yeah, I'm definitely staying in the car tonight. I brought my tent and everything to set up camp. Um, I even brought firewood. I built a little bit, but I, I brought a, brought a bag of firewood, wood, like a grocery bag of firewood, and uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not staying out here tonight. There's no way. There's no way. Dude. They killed me. Dude, they killed me. That's the first one we got. It seems like, like I said, guys, it seems like we are dealing, like, with a lot. Um, the responses we're getting through Spirit Talk are, are dealing a lot with death. Um, I wouldn't say exclusively, but there has been an overwhelming amount, very large percentage of the responses we got have been dealing with death. Like I said, it's, it's a very weird, it's very conflicting. Edwardian. Edwardian. Um, it's very weird, it's very conflicting because out here, um, I have not received any word that, um, that there's ever been any deaths, any disappearances. Then again, I don't. I don't know everything. Um, I don't have the full history on everything out here. But from what I've read, from what I've been able to ascertain, like, you know, there's been, you know, We're here. no real grisly history. It's just been a hotbed for paranormal stuff and cryptids. You know, we are here. Who's we? Why do you say we're here? Can you tell me who you are? Or what you are. Wish I brought the RV tonight. That would have been that would have been a but much smarter move. <laughs> Now I'm trying to like really make sure I differentiate the sounds between like just ambience, like random like rabbits running around and random, you know, nocturnal animals becoming active and like whatever it was I heard earlier. Passage. Passage. Can you tell me what you are or who you are? You shared earlier with me that it's dangerous here. Maybe you could tell me a little bit more why it's dangerous here. I'm hearing the coyotes again, but they're far. They're super far away. Can you tell me what exists in this forest? If it's a creature? I had one eye. One eye.
Edith. Edith. Can you tell me anything more about yourself? Or maybe why you keep talking about death in this forest? What's the relation? If you like to feel, ask, you can ask me a question. Maybe we can do that. I share something, you share something. What do you think? Standing beside you. That was that was huge. That was a that, was, that dude. That sounded like like a like a like a six inch diameter tree or so. Maybe not that big, but it sounded like like a sizable tree just being snapped in two. I'm with my children. What what though, dude? What was that? That was. There's no way there was a, that was a coincidence either. Standing beside you, snap. All well, wasn't that quick, but. Dude, I oh, oh man, dude, I'm 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 getting nervous. Yeah. I, I'm trying to hold my hand still. I'm not dude, I'm not joking. I'm not trying to ham it up for the camera. It's not because I'm cold either. Dude, that just freaked me out. Just it, you know, if I would have heard the snap or whatever, or got standing beside you with nothing, or whatever, but we get a response like arm. standing beside you <laughs> and then that and then it says arm as I'm just showing you guys my hand which is connected to my arm. <sighs> tonight might guys tonight might be not be that fast of a paced video compared to some of the other investigations we've had but this is one of the most intense camping experiences that I've had so far like this is I've never been so confident that I am being stalked by something until tonight I've been fairly certain but tonight is dude it's just like it's just another level now it's just like I I know that I'm being stalked by something unfinished business unfinished business. That's not something you want to hear when you're sitting in the woods alone by yourself. Dude, that's one thing, like, I see a lot of people, not a lot, but some people on, like, videos, like, of camping videos, like, my, myself, like, Angelo, uh, exploring with Angelo, um, and some of the other guys who do camping, and... There's a lot of times, a lot, that we, I, I don't want to say we, I don't, I don't know these guys, like, on a personal basis, but. We are here always. We are here always. Um, yeah, I don't know these guys on a personal basis, um, but there's a lot of times, like, that we're just like, you know, what, nope, like, we are out. We're out of, of, of the forest, like. I'm not doing this. I'm not staying here by myself. Like, no, absolutely not. And I see in the comments, people are like, dude, oh, they're running away again. <laughs> like, oh, Dan's running away again. Like, oh, why don't you just stay the night? It's like, 
Dude, unless you're here, unless you've experienced, like, what it feels like right now for yourself, like, being alone here. Like, I can hear people in the distance, sure, but that only brings a finite amount of comfort. Like, until you know what it's like staying here or sleeping in your car and just hearing something just bang on the window and wake you up and not being able to identify where that source was that made the noise appear. Are you going to show yourself to me? Um, like, I mean, I, obviously I can't say you can't talk uh, and you can leave all the comments what you want, but you don't, you don't understand. Like, it's, dude, it is freaky out here. And like when you're out here like looking for stuff and like height and like getting yourself excited and hearing things that you can't see and like doing like, you know, tests and getting these answers about death and like this, dude, it's, it takes a toll on you. It's terrifying. Like I can hold it, I can hold it together pretty well for the camera, but inside, dude, I'm freaking out. Not right now. This is I, I am I am pretty scared right now, but I mean I know I'm still gonna try and stay the night. But like some of these times, like when you're just out here and it's just like it's just it's just freaky. And like you like you're like on like I said on camera, you know, I try and play it cool. Alter. Um But inside I'm just like I wanna get out of here. So yeah, yeah, that's that's why we don't stay the night. Sometimes, I still, like I said, I still plan on it tonight. I want to, like, I think we got a good chance of seeing something tonight. I hope, because that's like, like I said, surgery. surgery. Like I said, guys, I, I, in no way, shape, or form, claim to be a paranormal expert, to be even a, a paranormal investigator. I don't, I don't, I don't pretend to be this. I don't claim to be this. I'm mean, just a dude in the woods with a camera. And the one thing I want to do is just get something weird on film. That's like my entire goal is just to get something Why weird not? on film. And the longer I do this, eventually it'll happen. But in the meantime, it is scary. It is definitely, definitely scary. Well, it's starting to, it's starting to give us a lot of like names we are here, always appear, alter, surgery, Leonard. Um, so I think I'm just going to pack it in for this evening. Well, for right now and this evening. Lay out my sleeping bag and uh, try and get a little bit of rest. And then come out here and... <sighs> I forgot my... Dude, I forgot my night vision camera. Dude, I'm falling apart tonight. No, no night vision camera, no death whistle. Dude, the death whistle would have been hilarious too tonight because those. I'm around the water. That's that's weird. I'm around the water, and we are very close to a body of water. But anyways, it would have been those 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 people that I heard were close enough that I, if I would have used the death whistle, they definitely would have heard it. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> joy. Yeah, that's what they would have said. They would be like, "Oh, joy, what's that coming from the woods?" All right, I'm gonna cut this, and I'm going to uh, Going to get my car ready for rest. Okay, that was weird. My camera just popped up and said, this battery cannot be used. Like, yeah, I'm using a third party battery, but I've had zero problems. So yeah, kind of odd that I just said that. Anyways, um, so, uh, 
Yeah, it's been a while since I've since I've camped up, camped back here. I usually just put my sleeping bag in the back seat or like in the front seat or whatever, but you know, I actually do sleep a little bit better back here. I don't know why. But just a tiny bit better. Um so anyways, maybe I can set this right on top. No, that's dangerous. It's dangerous for uh, for the camera. There we go. Leave that like that. Um, there we go. Can you see me? Yes, you can. All right, guys. So we are gonna go take a nap. I got my alarm set ugh, for uh, for a few hours, a couple, few hours from now. And I, why am I fighting this when I can just go like I was just, I'm like fighting the camera like to get in the get in the shot and I can just simply go like this. Um, all right, so yeah, I got my alarm set for a few hours from now. Uh, we are going to go back out. We're going to go walk down the same paths, and we're going to do some more spirit talker and see what we get at like 3 a.m. So that's that's my plan. Sleep until three, which actually is quite a few hours of sleep. I'll sleep a decent amount because it's still kind of early, but I am I'm rather tired. I woke up early. Okay. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, no cars come back here because I am technically stealth camping. I'm not supposed to be back here, but whatever. See, here's the thing. You can camp in this forest, but you're supposed to stay in the campground. I didn't feel like paying 30 bucks, so... I just decided to stay in the car, which then I can give this video a catchy title, like stealth camping in the in the Wendigo Forest. Maybe that's maybe that's what I'll actually name it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna go to sleep, and uh, yeah. So good night, and uh, see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. I think. Yeah, see you guys soon. Yo, what was that? What, what was that? So I woke up, I, it really felt like the car was moving. I didn't know like if I just shifted, if I turned or something and it made the car, you know, feel like it moved. But I felt the car moving. And then Then as I was trying to figure that out, because I was still halfway asleep, I'm definitely awake now. 
something just sl like smashed the front window. Like either the windshield or like the 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 passenger's window. Something just like boom. I I heard it. More like a slap. Like something slapped it. Like there's somebody. Dude, I think something was just like looking at my car. Like something was just like examining my car. I don't think that was me who, that dude, I drive, you guys see, I have a full size SUV. That thing's not gonna like just rock from me just like flipping over. What was that? Or something. It's like a growl or some sort of like animal noise straight in front of me. What is that? There's something over there. There's all right. All right. Yep. Nope. 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 Okay. Dude, what is that? What is that? It sounded like it was getting louder too. What could that be? As soon as I went down there, it was that same, like, bone chilling cold feeling I was telling you guys about, like, before. That's just that same exact feeling. <sighs> All right. Yeah. All right, I'm packing up. I'm packed up. I am going home. This was a very, very terrifying night in its own way. Um, as I told you guys earlier, like, you know, we've had a lot more, I don't know, I guess kind of intense on camera, um, investigations. Like we've heard like, you know, crazy stuff from the forest whispers. Um, I've heard my name whispered from the forest. We've heard whistling from the forest, but it may not come across on camera cause it's very hard to put into this like how I'm feeling and everything but so it may not come across as as well but tonight was probably one of the most terrifying experiences I've ever had legitimately feeling like something was watching me no not feeling knowing that something was watch watching me something was stalking me and that I just was not alone you know like it was, it was just, I, I don't know how to put into words. It's like I said, it's one of those things, like, unless you're in the situation, like, you don't really know, like, you can't, I can't really convey, like, these feelings over camera other than, you know, just me sitting here explaining it to you how I felt. Um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was very terrifying to say the least. It was just, man, like when that first part, that first like 30 minutes I was there when I was, you know, when we were walking down the trail doing spirit talker and I just heard something, something bipedal just around me, just out of the, of the view of the light, just circling me ever so slowly. There's very few things that will ever compete with that feeling. That was, that was, I don't know, man. That was, that was, I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like that at all. And then waking up, 
waking up and, and like trying to like, you know, through the thick haze of sleep that you have, like right when you wake up, um, especially being awoken by something, just trying to differentiate like, okay, I know I'm moving, but did I just like roll over or was something moving the car? And then something just slamming onto the front window, like, and then going out into the forest right after that and hearing whatever we heard at the end of that trail, like, oh man, dude, like it was, I don't know if I'll come back here. Like, even if somebody comes with me, I don't know if I'll come back here. Like there is something out here. Um, it, it, I guess that makes sense because there's been so many reports of like, you know, crazy stuff happening in this forest that I guess, I mean, I guess the rumors have been true. Like it's, oh, it's been a night. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll come back out here. Maybe if I have some serious backup, maybe if I come with like a few people, um, I'm, I would consider it, but by myself again no way absolutely not no way no way um but yeah let me know what you guys thought in the comments let me know what you thought that was could it have been a creature could it have been some sort of malevolent spirit um could it have been you know another person just messing with me all of these are possibilities i don't know they all make sense in their own right but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Um, yeah, and maybe we'll figure something out. But uh, and maybe I'll I'm gonna go through the footage as soon as I get home, and I'm gonna see if there's anything that I I missed, like something in the background, like looking at me through the trees, like anything. Um, but guys, thank you for being here tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was. It may not have come across in as intense as some of our other ones, but for me it was. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys have some light to shed on the situation. Um, big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. Thank you guys for making tonight's video possible and getting me out here. Um, if you do want to support the channel, links to all that will be in, in the description below, along with links to our merch site, Cataclysm Clothing Company. If you guys want to cop yourself a cool hoodie for the fall and winter, coming winter months. Um, yeah, but that that about does it. Uh, I ain't going to get driving. I have a long way to get home. And I am very, very anxious to go through this footage. So, guys, thank you again. Check out the social media. Links are in the description. And, uh, yeah, have a good night or day wherever you're at. And we'll see you very soon on the next video. Peace out, guys.